second of the um, CSB card series. Very, very pleased to see that we can put 90 people in here and not to be too crowded, which is great. Um, is everybody comfortable? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, you've got a real treat coming up for you. Uh, Greg Abadi, Paul Del Miro, um, Matt De Champlain, and Vinny Pagano are, are leaders in, uh, in the jazz field around this area and, and around the world. And uh, we are very pleased to be featuring them here tonight. I want to tell you a couple of things. Uh, first of all, the water is free. Help yourself. Um, we, have, uh, we have designated this bathroom here as the ladies' room, and the one downstairs, you can go down the stairs the elevator, as the men's room. Uh, the reason for that is there are several seats in there, but they would only be single-seaters if we had them as unisex bathrooms. So <laughs> try to make it, make it nice, nice for everyone. Um, also, I want to point out that um, uh, we are, since we are starting the series, we'd like to um, develop a clientele. So those of you that bought online already have your emails. Uh, and uh, if, if you don't want to get emails from me, when, as soon as you get one, just you know, unsubscribe and, and you won't hear from me again. Uh, unless it's in the grocery store. Um, <laughs> and uh, also, I want to point out that um, we have a uh, silent auction that's going on that may be of interest to you jazz fans. Uh, this is a three, two, three-day package of, of um, Newport Jazz Festival. So in other words, two tickets for all three days of the jazz festival. That is a $570 value. We are starting the bidding at two, uh, $250. So feel free to uh, make your bids on it. It's right there. And it's, uh, uh, we're certainly hoping that someone's going to be uh, a jazz fanatic this summer. And with that said, I'd like to introduce you now to Paul Delero, who is going to tell you all about what you're about to hear tonight. Yeah, yeah. And so, to kind of like move around a little bit, um, 
that Greg joined that band, the Vipers, and that band, band morphed into uh, Channel One, which was a fusion band. And, uh, and that band had some traction. We, had, we re did a recording produced by Tio Macero at the time, who did all of uh, Miles Davis's music on, on Columbia Records. And he produced quite a bit of music through the 70s and 80s. But uh, anyways, he liked the band. He recorded us, shopped it around. We came very close to getting a, uh, a major deal at that time. Uh, but the timing just wasn't quite right for it. So we, we kind of separated went different, different paths. Uh, so then, like about 10 years later, Greg and I end up on the Artie Shaw Orchestra together under the direction of Dick Johnson. And Artie was very particular about you know, his music, and that's why he left the business in the mid-50s. Uh, but here, he heard Dick Johnson play, and he was like, this guy can play my music. So Dick Johnson directed the new Artie Shaw Orchestra that was in the 80s. So Greg and I were on that band together. We traveled on the road for two years with that band. And we were actually roommates at that time on the road. So there's a lot of stories that either we can't remember or... <laughs> 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 uh, but, so, and, and then we fast forward a little more. In the 90s, Greg and I are both kind of pursuing different careers. And Greg uh, put together a record deal with Candid Records to do a record with Richie Cole. And he did it by the chance. This was in the early 90s, right? 94, 1994, and Greg asked me to play on that record with him, and which I was happy to do. It was great, and but so that's the last time that Greg and I recorded. We've played over the years, but that's the last time we recorded. So this particular project that we're doing right now um, is to record music that Greg and I have collaborated on, all originals except for one thing, maybe. Um, but we're we're recording this tomorrow. Uh, as a live recording up at the radio station in Worcester, WICE, which has a great studio. And so this, this music is, a, is there such a thing as a second premiere? Because we've already premiered the music once. Yeah, so, this is, <laughs> so this is the second premiere of the music tonight. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is, uh, this is Greg Abate, Paul Delmiro yeah. Quartet. First, the first tune we're going to do is one of Greg's. Uh, it's DSR. It's entitled DSR. Greg, you want to say something about it? Sure. You've got to kill time. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, it's great. It's uh, great uh, you know, friendships. Uh, of course, two musician friendships. We hang out. We, we share the music and stuff. So, so, you know, emotions and life. So, you know, when we collaborated on this, I brought my music over to Paul's shed, as they say. It was really a nice shed. And uh, hanging out with, so we did a lot of like talking about the music and collaboration is what it was. And this tune, uh, I wrote this, um, well, the day Mike Renzi passed away, and that's going to tell DF, DSR. I was thinking of playing the piano, and I just, I like to write with the piano when I'm by myself, and I was thinking about, um, I just played with Mike Renzi uh, two weeks before I wrote, so with Paul, and then, you know, we, everything was vibrant, and it's going on. So then, it was deep-seated reality, I felt, so that's why I initialed it DSR, so that's uh, what this tune's about, you know, for Mike, you know, thinking of the remember of Mike. And uh, I want to thank Paul for that great uh, introduction. <laughs> Vinny, I haven't seen Vinny for a, a couple of years, and great to see you again, Vinny. Pagano, and Matt, he shared a couple of years So I'm going to give this a go, it's the second time, well, it's the first time for Vinny, DSR. Thank you. 
next tune is a tune that I wrote for my sister Maria. Um, it's about Maria's ocean. And, uh, growing up, you know, I was out of the house like, like about 10 years before I knew that she was in marine biology school, you know. And uh, so she, she used to talk, talk to me on the phone and say, hey, great, I'm, I'm diving in, uh, in Peru today. I'm looking at all the fish. And, and she was so interested in marine scientists. And she's, Loves the ocean so much, I thought I'd dedicate this tune to her. It's in Maria's ocean.
Thank you so much. So this next tune is, is a composition of mine. Uh, it's entitled uh, Claire's Ostinato. And this, this came about, I started writing this in um, about four or five years ago. It was around the time that we were moving my mother into a, a nursing home down in Newport, which is St. Clair's. And so I was writing, and this, this, uh, I wrote this melody, and it was like a waltz, it was slow. And Mike Renzi was coming over to the house about at that time. And so he played it, and he always, he always referred to it as a moody little piece. It was a, a moody little thing. And, and it was. It was too moody, actually. So uh, when, when I started the project with Greg, I revisited that, uh, that composition. And I, I kept the melody, but I got rid of the waltz thing, and I do it in four. It's almost like a bossage kind of a feel. And I wrote a bass line to it, which becomes the ostinato in this tune. So, uh, so hence Claire's ostinato. My mother's name was Anna, so it's like, you know, she thought, well, how come it's not for me? But... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to play a, a short solo bass piece out front that I'm going to call Anna. So this is Anna into um, Claire's ostinato. <laughs>
Charlie Parker had entitled Quasimodo. Embraceable you, Quasimodo, maybe he wasn't so embraceable. It's debatable, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so Charlie Parker pretty much single-handedly changed the course of jazz in the 40s with his, uh, with his playing. We, we all uh, continue to honor his playing and his creativity. So this is, this is Quasimodo. <laughs>
have another two. We have another day to figure it out, but hopefully more days to play it. <laughs> uh, this this uh, final two is an original of mine. It's out of positive energy, and it uh, it just seems like that when you're playing it. I feel I feel it. Hope that more positive energy for good things in the world. So that's why we're here. Thank you.
and we'll be back. And we'll start the second half. If anybody has a question about what's going on up here, we'll have a little question and answer period to start. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm serious. I think you have your pads out, pencils, and make Thank you. Thanks for doing it. Festival packets, two um, three day passes to the Jazz Festival general admission. Uh, the the, the uh, thing is right there, it's a sign up option, so we will announce the winner at the end of the night. Right now, there is no winner, but I'm hoping you guys will consider it.